Welcome to Interior Health's Adult Type 2 Diabetes video series. The topic of this video is blood sugar monitoring. Just a few reminders as you watch this video series. We encourage you to watch the videos in order. And just remember, you can go back and watch the videos as often as you'd like. Fraser Health on the Road to Diabetes Health is a great resource to accompany this video series. And remember, you can pause the video at any time if you would like to spend a little bit more time reviewing the information. We would like to acknowledge that our work occurs on the beautiful, traditional, ancestral, and unceded territories of the First Nations of the Interior Region. We also recognize the Métis Nation and the contributions of the Métis peoples to the Indigenous ways of being and knowing on this land. In this video, we will be talking about things that raise blood sugar, things that lower blood sugar, what do the numbers mean, and the targets, blood sugar monitoring supplies, and BC Pharmacare and First Nations Health Authority. Things that can increase or raise your blood sugars can include eating too large of a portion or having too much added sugar, not having meals on time or skipping meals, excess weight specifically around your midsection as this contributes to insulin resistance, emotional or physical stress which will increase hormones that will push blood sugars up, illness will also do this. Sometimes either diabetes meds aren't taken regularly or some folks need an adjustment to the amounts of meds. Medications such as steroids and some antidepressants can make folks very insulin resistant. And finally, there are many different hormones that can raise blood sugars. Now it may seem that there are many ways to raise blood sugars, but fear not, there are ways to lower blood sugars too. One of the great things about diabetes management is that there's more than one way to lower blood sugars. One way is by trying to have regular me balanced meals and snacks and trying to space your meals throughout the day versus having, for example, only one meal at the end of the day. Another way is through physical activity. Physical activity can be anything that gets your body moving, walking, gardening, yoga, whatever makes you feel good. There's a video later on that goes into more detail. Also reducing body fat, especially around your stomach, will help to lower your blood sugars. And finally, diabetes medications can help lower blood sugars. Some of the medications also have other benefits as well. Many clients come to me asking what their diagnostic numbers mean. Let's take a look. Fasting blood glucose is usually taken first thing in the morning before eating or drinking. If blood sugars are between 6.1 and 6.9, then prediabetes is diagnosed. If the blood sugars are 7.0 millimoles per liter or more, a diabetes diagnosis is made. Hemoglobin A1c is a measurement of how much sugar is stuck to the hemoglobin. It is an average of the last two to three months. If it is between 6.0% and 6.4%, then prediabetes is diagnosed. If it is 6.5% or more, then diabetes is diagnosed. A random blood sugar or two-hour glucose tolerance test may be done. 
If it is between 7.8 and 11 millimoles per liter, then prediabetes is diagnosed. If it is 11.1 or more, diabetes is diagnosed. Once you've been diagnosed with diabetes, these are the targets we aim for. A fasting or before meal blood sugar should be between four to seven millimoles per liter. A two hour after meal blood sugar should be between five to 10 millimoles per liter. Your target A1C should be 7% or less, which would likely give you blood sugars under nine or 10 averaging. All of these goals can be individualized based on medications and other factors. Blood sugar checks are helpful as they can give you and your healthcare provider information about how food, exercise, and medications affect blood sugars. Diabetes Canada recommends checking your blood sugar three times a week if you're on oral medications, except for glyburide. We usually suggest a fasting blood sugar on one day and a before and two hour after meal another day. Talk to your healthcare team if you notice a pattern of higher than target blood sugars. And remember, monitoring is a tool that can identify patterns and guide healthy lifestyle choices. You can pick up a blood glucose meter at any pharmacy. Your local pharmacist can help you choose a meter that will work for you and your lifestyle, purchase your supplies, which would be test strips, lancets, and a sharps container. And they can also show you how to use the meter and supplies. Fair Pharmacare is a provincial program in BC that can assist with the cost of certain prescriptions and medical supplies, including strips. Your family's income is used to calculate your deductible, which once you've reached it, you can get up to 70% coverage. For more info and to register, you can call the number on the screen or go to the website provided. Your Diabetes Education Center can assist you to learn more about blood sugar checks and how to get certified for strip coverage. The FNHA Health Benefits Guide as a complete description of the health benefits program and the specific benefits available. You can call toll free at 1-855-550-5454 or go to their website and search benefits. They also have a summary of diabetes drugs, insulins and supplies coverage for FNHA clients by searching this document below. You have just viewed blood sugars and testing. We encourage you to view the remaining videos for more information about living well with type 2 diabetes.